Hi, I'm Bonnie. And I'm Alif. And today we're going to show you an example of how to do heuristic evaluations. Alif will be the computer and he'll move the pieces of the prototype around while I, the evaluator, will tap around and note any usability issues that I find. In this prototype, there's going to be an application where the student can go in and schedule appointments to meet with their professors. Notice in this example, the group added stickers to some of these screens. You don't want to lead the witness. Your evaluator should have free reign to explore as they wish. So I also printed out a worksheet with all 10 heuristics on them. This will make it easier for me to find usability problems and note them, them down quickly. You can make your own online. So let's get started. So this is the first screen, and I don't even know what prototype I'm testing because um, there's no name on it. So I'll just create an account. So here I'm going to make a username and password. I'm going to pretend to be a professor and click Create. Um, I'll fill out my name, and then um, I don't want to set up my profile, so I'll just click Skip. Here's the home screen. Um, it looks like I can view appointments, set availability, or edit my profile. Um, what if I want to view my profile? It looks like there's no way to view my profile. So I'm going to put that down as a problem of uh, user control. Um, can't view profile. Um, and I'm just going to set availability first. Here I see there are start and end times, um, and I can check some days of the week and add a location. I think there are a few problems here. Um, so I noticed that the one, there's only days of the week, but they don't tell you which day it is. Um, I think the actual date is very important. And two, I think there's an issue of uh, flexibility and efficiency of use, because if I were a professor and I use this a few times, um, I think usually I would meet in the same locations and I wouldn't want to fill this out every time. So I think there should be a faster way to go through this process. So I think uh, I'll put down uh, advanced uh, users um, function under flexibility and efficiency of use. So let's submit some times. Oh, so here are all my available times that I set. Um, it would have been really nice if I was able to see this before setting some times, um, but that didn't seem like it was available. So I'll add this to visibility of system status that I should be able to see the times beforehand. Um, now let's close this. And let's go home. So let's, let's view my appointments now. So it says click on appointment to view deta details. Um, so I'm guessing this is my appointment. I'll click this. OK, so I have an appointment uh, Tuesday, January 20th with some student. Um, what if I can't make that time anymore? It doesn't look like there's a way for me to cancel it. I'll note that down under user control, can't cancel. So let's close this and go home again. All right, so I'm not interested in editing my profile, so I'll just sign out and let's check out the student side of this prototype. All right, let's sign in. Okay, so I noticed that there was a forgot password here on the previous screen, but it's not here anymore. And also there's no username, forgot username screen. Um, I think that would go under error prevention. Um, if someone forgets their username, uh, this prototype isn't able to account for it. So uh, forgot username. So let's sign in. 
All right, so here um, I want to make a, an appointment with a professor. So I'll search for the professor that I want. Uh, let's see, I'll just add the name, uh, Scott Clemmer. Oh, and I found, I found Scott Clemmer, so I'll click on that. Let's see, so this is his profile. Um, actually, if I didn't want to make an appointment, an appointment with him, it looks like there's no way to go back or to cancel. Um, so that's another problem of user control and freedom, um, that I must make an appointment now. So I guess I'll make an appointment for Monday, 5 to 7 p.m. And make appointment. Oh, so it looks like uh, in the time range of 5 to 7 p.m., I have to choose a 15-minute time slot. So I'll choose 5 to 5.15 and hit Submit. Success! Appointment made for Tuesday, January 20th at 5 p.m. I thought I clicked Monday. Um, this must be a minor error um, just in writing. But I'll just note that down under Consistency and Standards. Uh, Monday change to Tuesday. All right. So let's close this. Well, I think let's just end it here. And I have some general comments about the prototype. So one thing I noticed was that there was very little help documentation in the prototype. So there was one screen that I really liked. Um, it was the one with a calendar on it for professors. So this one was the only one that had any sort of instructions or help for me. It says click on appointment to view details, but for the rest of the prototype, it doesn't really give me any information on how to go about using the prototype. I think it would have been really helpful to add a little bit more of that. So I'll just note that down in help and doc documentation. Need more help. So the other thing I noticed was that a lot of the prototype pages look very different from one another. So this would make it really difficult for me to remember what page I'm on or how to continue using it because they look so different. I think I'll write that down as a problem in re recognition rather than recall. Uh, the pages are too different. Too different. I think one thing that was really good about the prototype was that the match between the system and the real world seemed pretty good to me. The language that they used was rather intuitive, so it wasn't too hard for me to go through the prototype, even though that, even though I think that more help and documentation would have been better. But I'll note that, that down as a positive. Um, good match between system and real world. So let's count how many that I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I found 10. Um, Ten, uh, nine usability issues and one positive about it. So this just goes to show that in one prototype, I was able to show, to find 10 of them. And if you really look, it's, there are a lot of usability issues that you might be able to find. The last thing is that some of these issues apply to more than just one heuristic. And it's up to you to decide which one might be most important um, and decide where to put the usability issue.